Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello, 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 and welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week has been my family. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we must sanitize. Now remember, when we sanitize, we are showing everyone how responsible we are. And make sure that when you're done sanitizing, you make your hands dry before you touch anything else. <laughs> well done. Our lesson for today is all about addition and measurement. Our first exercise can be found on page 27. On page 27, we have some addition. And this one seems so much fun. We have flowers, we have hamburgers, we have bees and leaves and bears. <laughs> now, we have to add them up. And you are going to write the number that you can see in the boxes. After that, you are going to count them all together and put the answer in the box after the equals sign. Now, the equal sign was going to be your clue. But I know you are clever, so you are going to just count all of them. Count all the flowers to get your answer, but first you must count the first set of flowers and then the second set of flowers. When you are done with this exercise, which I know won't take you too much time, please can you turn to the next page on page 28. Now on page 28, we can see that we are going to be measuring. At the bottom, we have a small ruler. Can you see that ruler? Yes, the one with the numbers is a ruler. It is going to be your job to label the pencils starting from the shortest. Now, the ruler helps us to see what size or length is each pencil. If we were to do this together, let us see how far we can go. Let's take a look at the exercise in my hands. Now the exercise is the same as the one in your booklet, but we're going to help each other to find out which one is the longer one. Now we have first the long ones, we can see them, but we want to start with the shortest because that's what the instruction said. So let's take a look at these two because it looks like these two are the shorter ones. Now is it this one? Look at your ruler. Or is it this one? When you take a look at it, I think the first one that is the shortest is this one right here. 
So in this box, please can you write one? Very good. Now let's look for the one that's a little bit longer in length than the first one. Is it this one or is it this one? I think it is this pencil here. So you are now going to write in this box two. Let's now take a look at the other pencils. It looks like the next one is this one. Check with your ruler, go down and you can check whether it is the one. The rest of them, I want you to try by yourselves. Now remember my children, take your time. You don't have to rush and count out loud. You can even trace it from where it starts down to the ruler to check the length. I will see you just now after our very short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Our last exercise for the day can be found on page 29. On page 29, we are going to be comparing using what we can find as shorter and what we can see as longer. Look at the pictures that are on the side. We have two sandwiches two pencils, two twigs, and two snakes. It is going to be our job to sort them out. We are first going to cut them out. Remember, when you're using a pair of scissors, please don't rush and take your time. If you're not sure that you are going to be careful with your pair of scissors, please ask an adult to help you cut them out. Once you are done cutting out, you are now going to sort them in their correct boxes. Now there's one side that is going to be for shorter, which means that it is smaller in length. And then on the other side, we have the word longer, which means that it is bigger in length. You're going to sort them out and when you do for each one, paste them neatly in the correct boxes. Remember grade twos, we need to be careful whenever we are holding a pair of scissors. Then when you are done with this exercise, I'd like you to please make sure you clean up. There is no pieces of paper and there is no glue anywhere. And once you are done with that, you will be done with the exercise. I will see you just now after our short advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. This now marks the end of our lesson. Now, before we say goodbye, it's very important grade twos for us to sanitize. Now remember, when we are sanitizing, we are staying safe from coronavirus and showing everyone that we care. Well done. Has anybody seen Zoshi today though? Where is he? Oh! <laughs> There you are, Zashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. 
Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.